Hello, today I will prove Erdos Shakira's theorem, which tells us that if we are given n equals a, b plus 1 elements, they all of them are different, then we can always find a plus 1, at least a plus 1 length increasing subsequence and the subsequence, decreasing subsequence, which will have at least b plus 1 elements. To prove this one, we need to use pigeonhole principle and for each number c of j, we need to assign a pair of integers a of j and b of j. The a of j means largest increasing subsequence which ends at point j and b of j means largest decreasing which ends at point j. Then what, what can we say about the boundaries of a of j and b of j? one must be less or equal to a of j and a must be also greater or equal to a of j. Otherwise, we can find the subsequence which will have at least a plus one element and it will be also increasing. Similarly, can be said about the b of j. Because we are given a b plus one elements and a of j and b of j are between 1 and a and 1 and b, the total different number of pairs will be a times b. Now if we apply pigeonhole principle for these a, b plus 1 elements, we can see that there will exist two indices i and j, the pair for c of i, a i and b i, will be equal a j and b j, B of J. This is because of the using pigeonhole principle. We, we are given only A B places, but objects are more than A B. And because of this pigeonhole principle, we can prove that there will always be exist C of I and C of J. They are the appropriate pairs will be same. So this means that a of i equals a of j and b of i equals b of j. Now let's look why this is impossible. With all laws of generality we can assume that i is less or equal to less than j and in this case if we if we assume that c of i is less than c of j now look at the Increase subsequence which ends at point C of i, its length must be A of i. Now imagine that this is C of i, and this was this was C of j. The largest increase subsequence which was ended at point i, it has length A i. And if we look at the point C of j, we know that c of j is more than c of i, so the a of j will be at least a of i plus 1. Clearly this will give us the contradiction that a of j was equal to a of i, because a of i can't be greater than a of i plus 1. So we, our assumption that such sequence can't be existed was wrong, and now we have proved that there will always be exist a sub decrease subsequence which will have at least b plus 1 elements or increase subsequence there it will have at least a plus 1 elements. So this was my first th theorem about the combinatorics. If you want to discuss some theorems in the combinatorics, please write in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe my videos.